I don't know. I don't think you can call a market top that easily. I mean, to me, you need corporate excess. You need hubris. You need too much inventory, too much hiring, you know, fancy new corporate headquarters, lots of spending. So I don't see the corporate behavior as that risky right now. Obviously, there's exogenous events, but we've proven in the last five, six years, every single one of them was a buying opportunity. So I don't think you should be that negative. I look at corporate earnings. The sell side's got 9% for next year. Let's say it's 5 the market, I think, as Santoli just went through, is what, about 18 and a half times next year's numbers? That looks pretty reasonable in light of bonds at 1.8 and, you know, everything else looking unattractive. So I, I don't see any reason to be negative. Fortunately, at Trivarian, I don't, I don't really make big market calls. I just, I think there's lots of opportunities to pick stocks underneath. But I don't see why anyone should be wholesale negative right now. In terms of the data, though, I mean, there's a lot of talk right now about this idea that slowing economic growth, that we may be seeing a bottom in that process. Right. Do, you, do you agree with that? Yeah, good news is good. And then bad news, you got this backstop. So I don't see any reason to get super negative. I think it's super hard to call those, you know, short-term consolidations consistently. So I just would want to tell people that, you know, U.S. equities look like a good place to invest your money. And there's lots of ways to generate spread within them. Better than overseas equities? I mean, I think if you care about liquidity, yes. I mean, I think 77% of all stocks that trade 30 million or more a day are in the U.S. I only do U.S. equities at, at Trivariate. But you, you, if you have a big fund, I think it's really hard to generate excess returns outside the U.S. Uh, just in terms of liquidity. I think just listen to Yunus Yun uh, reporting the sentiment on the ground in, in China and certainly the role that tariffs are playing, at least from that side, right. uh, in, in getting to even just a phase one deal. Um, is the risk bigger here, perhaps, than investors are realizing for this to not happen? Look, I think long term, it's risky. I think in the near term, the way I look at the world is it's asymmetric to the positive. If they say it's delayed, if they say there's still issues, yeah, the market goes down a little bit. As long as they dream it's going to get solved at some point, it, it, it'll still work. If you really solve it with a true deal, the market will go way higher. That's, that's my view. So I think it's asymmetric positive. Uh, but I don't think anybody really believes it's going to get nailed down this year. Look, what is equity investing, right? I buy my little dream today. I sell it to somebody with a bigger dream later, right? Is the dream bigger if they solve it? Yes, it is. So I don't want to get too negative. Mark, you've said that any pullback would be a buying opportunity. What would you be buying? Yeah, so um, so the the sectors that we like a lot right now are healthcare, right? So healthcare just broke out of a two-year trading range. Uh, probably a lot of that has to do with Elizabeth Warren slipping in the polls. A lot of these healthcare stocks have reacted positively, so we like healthcare. Uh, we like certain pockets of tech, specifically software, and we like consumer stocks. Now, the consumer stocks that we like are typically those consumer stocks that revolve around a cost-conscious consumer, which would be like your off-price and your discount retailers. Adam, what stands out for you now is one of those attractive U.S. equities that, that you said there was opportunity. So, look, I, I think people are trying to make some sort of value growth call. and that, I, I don't really believe in that. There's parts of the market I'm long expensive, parts that I'm short cheap. It, it it's all depends on your investment process. To me, uh, the market looks like it's going to grow. Earnings are going to grow. I think the multiple is going to expand. And so there's tons of opportunities all over the board, whether it's in smid cap software, whether it's in Internet, whether it's in financials, whether it's in energy. So I don't I, I'm trying to spread returns to make money. And to me, there's tons of opportunity all over there. Look at the number of stocks that are beating or lagging the index by 20 percent or more this year, last year, the year before. It's right about the same number. So the opportunity sets, you know, quite good. At Triveret, we build quant models to predict return. We use these macro information you talk about to continue to help. And then we use fundamental filters to you know, generate returns. So there's lots of ways to do it. Trivariate means three variables, and the three variables are quant macro fundamental. I, I, I like the opportunity set here.